All right, it's June the 17th, 2009. I'm here with uh, Qualm, one of the Savage Brothers that was on the Snow Goons album, A Fist in the Thought, which I have here. And uh, did you want to say hi to your friends, uh, Ross? You're you're on you're being videotaped right now, so um, if you wanted to say hi to your fans, yeah, what's going on, fam? Squall, Savage Brothers. All right. I'm here doing an interview with Shirley Coffee, about to kill it. Let you know what's going on with this album. You know, let you know our views on everything. All right. So here we have the video, and we're playing it, and we're gonna do like a little commentary on how it went down. It's a video by Baby Grand. I'm gonna videotape the the video while we're talking, so they could see that. Hang on. Let me full screen it. And give it a little bit of audio because we don't have. So when you guys were shooting the video, was this all shot in South Carolina? And the psych ward that where you uh, the psych ward where you you first start off your first scene is that like something local that you guys grew up in the area or in the neighborhood and that was. Um, it's actually a place that's condemned. It's an old, it's an old psych asylum that they uh, they call it that got condemned and they just set all the fucking crazy spray into Columbia. Uh, see, you know what's funny is um, in North Bay, just uh, I guess just west of Sudbury where I grew up, they were known to have this uh, a loony bin. They used to call it the loony bin. And one year they just decided to close it. So every once in a while they used to go, oh, you're so crazy, they're going to reopen the loony bin for you. So when we, when I saw the, the institute, I'm like, oh man, that's just the video right there caught my heart because I'm like, oh my god, he's, uh, he's representing the loony bins. I love it. <laughs> okay, well, so... Yeah, it's, it's actually, a, it's that, it was called the Bull Street, Bull Street uh, Psychiatric. Uh, evaluation centers. So we're all the really fucking bad ones that are killing these people, duh. But you know, Ned Ness is uh, an emulation of Puget Gaston. Mm hmm. A fucking uh, a serial killer here from Columbia. Let me, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up a, a picture of you um, from maybe your um, MySpace. Let me see if I have you. I hear like they're like seeing my my atmosphere email that I'm so proud of. It's like whatever, such a spaz. <laughs> I'm trying to do this left-handedly. You know they need to make a left-handed camera. By the way, I'm really annoyed with that. Uh, but good thing I'm man be dexterous, so I, I'm just like left mousing right now. Come on. And how about and and your and your website and everything? How many has that like really paid off for you? Like I mean, in can you actually see where your 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 money's coming in from? What are you talking about? Like what? Well, like yeah. Could do you have any way of tracking where where they're coming from with your MySpace, or is it kind of like it's whoever? Well, on the MySpace. Are you pretty much are, uh, you know, putting music on there on your own risk. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's available for anybody to risk the area. Yo, motherfucker! There you are. 2009! Yeah. <laughs> in a uh, private forum, there's no way you can stick it up there. And even if you don't allow people to download, there's mm -hmm. still ways you can do it. So, there's no point in trying to avoid the download. That's just the era of him. And you know, we're in, we you know, were. There's, there's nothing you can do about yeah. downloads. So. And I have, I have a. What we've seen from my space is, is opportunity, networking, you know, things like that. And we've seen a lot of. We have made a fair, good, a bit amount of money from my space and from having our stuff out there to be able to see. And it's just good promotion tools for any artist, you know. But mm. you, you want to make sure that the stuff that you put on there. It's not exclusive that, that, you know, it's not going to be released and be exclusive because it's not exclusive as soon as you sit it on that, on that site. Mm. So that park that you're sitting on the bench, is that like a park where you, you guys used to kick it or...? 
in the little. The part where we're sitting on the bench, that's a uh, that's a place where there's a big, big ass stone. Like uh, you'll probably see lots in front of it soon. Like mm. It's got like hieroglyphics written on it. So, it's at an old part of the town, the city where the old city was from. Yeah, one second. Let me see if I if I'm at it. I'm at about 48 seconds in the in the video right now. I'm your father when he beats you as a child, wilding out. I'm the preacher in the cathedral with his pick and a nudge mouth. I'm the evil that's inside you like blood swimming through your heart. I'm death towards your greed. And that's it's like locking up, but it doesn't matter. It's the point that you know what we got you on a little bit of video. We're having technical difficulties. It's no big deal. I just wanted to to get it out there. That people need to just uh, pay attention to you guys because you're you're upcoming and you're talented and you're great and people should uh, pay attention because I think the lyrics that you have in your albums are great the beats are amazing you know and um, I just wish you the yeah, most. We had a lot of people come through and pull together for that album that you know didn't have to do a damn thing for us you know we had. We had to show them what they put their, you know, their confidence in us. That, you know, every track that we sent to them was a banger. Every single one was a banger, and it was it was never ever fucking sell ourselves short for that. And then we got in-house beat makers, Eternal from here from Columbia. I mean, he's been fucking making our music for ten years. I would rather record with him than Dre. Yeah. You know, I mean, if I could if I could give Eternal the equipment that he wanted to use. I would record with him above anybody in the industry. Oh, that's so, cool. um, he just he just knows us, he knows our warmth, he knows our levels. I mean I walk into the studio, one take, kill it. I'm in the fucking studio for for five minutes and I can already do a whole song. You know, so like he just knows us that way. I know if I go somewhere else I'm gonna end up paying a bunch of money for a guy that doesn't know what the fuck I sound like or what I like or how warm I like my lyrics. And yeah. he just does a great job. And we had people from all, you know, as far as Denmark come for us. You know, so we had Stick Nature. We had fucking, you know, Lilay from uh, Scorpio 61. And then we had, uh, we had Al Tarba from France. I mean, he's fucking just slamming right now. He's got, he had, a uh, he did the DJ Muggs remix. And he fucking won that shit. And, uh, you know, he makes great beats for us. I did a solo project with him called Walk with the Beast. And uh, that's pretty sick. Um, we just had a lot of these people, man, that, that, that are up and coming, that are good at what they do. We want to be a part of our business. So. We're just excited to be able to work with these guys. And, uh, also, we just came together and made a hot fucking album. So mm -hmm. we, we, you know, we did that album in seven trips to the studio. So, I mean, that's good. That, so, I mean, we pretty much, and, you know, half of the time, you know, we're just hanging out by the hills, so I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can, you know, I just, knowledge, he's, he's more of a freestyler, you know, he get in the booth and, and he'll freestyle the album, you gave him eight hours and a, and a half out of the road, and he just let him hang yeah. out, and uh, he'd be able to, well, to kick you a fucking whole album for freestyle, that's you know, a, can do it that's drugs, and also, you know, that's not a, a, a need. No, no, that's cool. That's cool that he's drug free and does it all clean. Hey, listen, we're at nine minutes, and I know uh, YouTube's pretty restricted at ten minutes. We're gonna have to wrap this up. I love your album. I hope that people go out and buy it. I hope they rate your video. I hope they 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 post lots of comments on your website, and I hope that uh, you could come down with lust sometime soon with your brother so you could come and do the pipeline on that Monday and come and show us what you have and come and meet your fans down here because I'm sure you have them I'm sure you have them yeah. all right yeah, we'll see how it goes see how everything unfolds and then you know exactly we'll let everybody know uh, any future venues on our MySpace at uh, myspace.com backslash uh, streets advocate let me, so let me just let the rest of the video roll here, if it will, but it won't because it's being a punk. Just like my life. <laughs> you know what it is, probably.
I'll just let it run small. But, um... I, you know, I, me I mentioned, I wanted to mention it real quick, and I'm, I don't know if it's gonna... One second. Lost, uh, it, lost. Now I'm thinking of lost. His ears are buzzing. 